Welcome, Commanders, to Tadowski Shelter. As some of you may or may not be aware, I play multiple bases. Now, I'm not always good at doing so, and after a while, not all of them need the constant hands-on upkeep, such as my farms. But some of them do require a bit more playtime than others. I also noticed that some of you are curious as to how I am able to get Last Shelter on full screen mode, and in today's video I'm going to talk about how I do this, as well as the upsides and downsides of each method. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, leave a comment, let me know what you want to talk about, and let's get right into it. So let's start today's video with the easiest one to explain. Full screen. How am I able to play and record my Last Shelter content on full screen? Now, some of you may already know the answer to this question, but for those of you that do not, I use Google Play Beta. Now, Google Play Beta is openly available to pretty much anyone with a PC and a Google account, which is probably 98% of the population. Now, as a disclaimer to all, every program I'm about to discuss will most likely require you to alter your BIOS settings to enable hyper-virtualization. Hyper-virtualization is the only way one can access mobile games on their computers. As far as I'm aware, this is accessible on fairly new computers and does not hinder the performance of your PC. If you are unsure about it, don't do it. However, you can always look up the information about it online. This is a feature that almost every CPU has and can be enabled or disabled. Every CPU and motherboard labels it differently. So make sure to look up the proper terminology for your specific PC to make sure that you are adjusting the correct settings. You will also need Windows 10 or better to run the hyper virtualization setting. So to obtain Google Play Beta, which I'm going to link below, you simply Google search it and follow the instructions to install. Once installed, search last shelter as you normally would and then download and play. If you can run Google Play Beta, you should be able to run almost any mobile game that the Google Play Store has available. And Google Play Beta is constantly adding new games to their library. Doing this will allow you to play on a much larger screen or even a full screen if you so choose. Now you may notice that while my videos are almost always full screen, not all of the recordings or even lives are in full screen. Why is that, you may wonder? To be the bearer of bad news, generally, if something seems too good to be true, it generally is. Google Play Beta is just that. It's a beta. It can be great at times. However, it is super buggy and can be super laggy at times. You can be in the middle of a battle and the load screen will take much longer to load than it normally should. On top of that, buttons will become glitched behind other ones, making it look like they have vanished off your screen and you cannot get them back. They will still be there, but unless you want to restart every minute, you're going to end up clicking on the hero button just to be taken to the menu screen. Google Play Beta is great for casual play times and even for recording, but I would not use it to play anything serious or something that can be time sensitive. There is just too many drawbacks to rely on it as a primary way to play. Sure, it is fun to finally get the game in full screen, but the frustration from the bugginess will far outweigh the initial awe you will get from playing full screen for once. It's good for what it is, but realize it does have major flaws and it will probably be a while before Google has the bugs worked out for it to be a sustainable way to play most mobile games. This is the only application I have found on PC that will allow you to play Last Shelter full screen. Everything else I'm about to mention will allow you to play it on your PC, but it will be an emulator of a phone. This means that the program will imitate a phone on your PC to allow you to simulate a phone on the computer. Now, with Windows 11, they primarily push Google Play Beta in order to 
utilize APKs for your PC, but there are many other options out there. Some of the more popular ones being BlueStacks, Knox, LD Player, Memu, Android Studio, Bliss OS, and so many more. All of them operate in almost the same fashion, but they all have some subtle differences. Finding the one you prefer or want to learn is completely up to you, but all will achieve the same goal. For me, I've used Memu and LD Player. I prefer LD Player as it has run smoother on my PC than Memu has, but everyone's PC is different. Most of these emulators allow you to run on multiple windows at once. But remember that this will also put a strain on your PC. Every window open and running will take some use of your computer. Therefore, the more windows you have open, the slower your PC is going to move or it may even crash on you. Knowing how many you can run at one time is important to note because you want things to run as smoothly as possible. Find the emulator you prefer. I'm going to link various ones down below. Go ahead, follow the instructions on installation and settings. Remember, hyper visualization must be enabled for the vast majority of these emulators to work. So make sure you are comfortable changing this setting and learn how to do it for your particular computer. And that's it. Basically, the emulator will start up and run as if it was a brand new phone out of the package. You can set up a Google Play account if you don't already have one or use any other app program you prefer and then you're off to the races. Each instance or window will act like a different phone. So you can have one base on one window and a totally different base on the other. You can then have both of them running at the same time and have access to both bases on one screen. This can be multiplied by however many windows of the emulator you can be running at once, which once again, depends on your PC specifications. I won't go through the installations since each one of them is different, but this is a very common way many people can run multiple bases at the same time. This is going to come in very handy during battles or certain events, or even just for base growth for multiple bases without having to switch back and forth from your phone or tablet. I will say that the emulators will run surprisingly smooth for the most part, unless you have a lot of windows open at once, all loading at the same time. The emulators will run just the same as your phone might. The difference is that you will have to click with your mouse rather than tap on a screen. Granted, I haven't tested these emulators out with a touchscreen monitor, so that actually may give me a few ideas. I hope this helps you in your journey. I know it may seem scary and confusing at first to change your bias settings, but once you figure it out and you get Get it up and running you'll be amazed at how much you will enjoy having two or three bases on your screen at the same time remember please like and subscribe for more content leave a comment so i know what topics you want to see catch a live ask your questions immediately and start having some discussion with me and most importantly have a great rest of your week look out for each other help each other out and most importantly be safe out there